Hey guys, what is up? Oliver BZ here and welcome back to my channel. If you're the first time and you like what you see, if you can subscribe, that would help out a lot. Uh, you guys can see I'm on a screen that I haven't been on for a very long time. Is This is the Choose Your Starter Pack screen. I am starting, I am on a new account, a brand new account. I literally just made this Xbox account, so I'm level 0 in the, or level 1 in the uh, EA Access. So I can't give any boosts or anything like that, but this is a new account. I am starting a Road to Glory, guys. Uh, if you're wondering why, I just thought it could be fun for the end of the year to see how far we can get before FIFA 20 comes out in these like two or three months at the dying, like the, the dead sort of, you know, dying stage of FIFA. I thought it would be really fun to see what we can get. So yeah, let's just have some fun with this series. Comment down below uh, who I should buy and, uh, you know, what I should build a team around and stuff like that. There are the weekly objectives with the Alessandrini and the Kempembe. So our first goal is to get those two guys, but straight up here... I am going to go with France. I usually choose England, but since there is that Kempembe and the Alice Dream I just mentioned, I am going to choose France as my starter pack. So hopefully we get, you know, just a whole, we'll just get a whole bunch of French men, obviously. Uh, hopefully some Lee Gun players to help with the uh, Alice and, uh, the Kempembe, because you need to win games with Lee Gun scorers. So our starter pack here is Zeratuza. Zeratuza. So not a Lee Gun player. Hopefully one of the goals, at least, is a, a Lee Gun player. Come on. We got two La Liga players. And there we go. Delort. That's actually good. He had a really good team of the season. That's going to help out a lot. We actually got a decent striker from the Liga. And that's not bad at all. So I'm going to rearrange this to get to 100 chem and I'll be right back. All right. So I've rearranged it. So we are up to 93 chemistry. We actually got a pretty good squad here. This guy, Zero Tuzo, is five star, four star, six foot one. We thought the best stats, obviously. But six foot one, five star, weak foot. That's not bad at all. And obviously, I already showed you Delord's stats. He's not great, but he's definitely not bad. And then this guy, Gnaganon, he's only six foot tall, uh, many, many work rates, and he's pretty bad. And then we've also got Dembele as silver with 91 Julie, 91 balance, five foot six. Nice down one. He's not too bad. And then five foot nine high medium striker with 72 finishing, 84 jumping. I'm pretty happy with this so far. And then we're just going to uh, use my lone point right back since that's our only non Frenchman. Or maybe we should do right middle. Maybe we'll get Mbappe. Uh, no, that's pretty bad. So we'll just press back. If you guys don't know, you can press back on that and choose a different position to get your lone player from. Um, none of them are going to help us out. Oh, maybe Danny Elvis, actually. I'll come back to that. Left back, maybe we can get a Ferland Mendy. If I doubt it. No. Uh, left wing, maybe Neymar. Oh, Ribery or Coleman. I might go with Coleman, to be honest. More games, and he's got all the pace. Okay, let me just check every position just to make sure, because Lloris could be really helpful. Or a Buffon. Only four games, though. And then may as well check centre-back. Uh, Koscielny. We can just buy Koscielny not too soon. Not too long. And then reserves. No, you can't do reserves. Can you bench? Yeah. Okay, then. Let's just do... Was it left middle that I like? Yeah, Komen. Let's grab a Komen. Obviously, it's not League Un, so his goals won't count, but he's a good player. So let's just get him and then use him in Div Rivals. So yeah, that's pretty cool. And then we can put him at right middle and put that left wing guy back. And then we should maybe... We'll get close to 100 chem anyway. Wow, we got Komen. Now we got a Bayern Munich kit, maybe. Or Leicester. That kit's actually pretty, pretty cool. I like that. I'm going to go with that. Mor Morirense, and then, oh, look at that, Liverpool kit, sweet, we got the purple Liverpool kit, awesome, or get the YouTube kit, change things up a bit, I'm going to take the Liverpool kit, <laughs> we'll be rocking that a lot in this series, and then definitely going to take the Chelsea badge, I'm going to take Celtic, that's cool, I'm a Celtics fan, if you don't know, that's what the BC and all Liverpool BC stands for, so let's check on a Celtic badge, and that's not a bad start at all, we got Komen, we got Delort, some other players, Liverpool kit, Celtic badge, could be a lot worse. All right, since this is just like an end game road to glory, usually my road to glory at the start of the year, if I when I do one, uh, I'll be doing on FIFA 20 by the way. I'll like show you guys me completing all these like these early stuff. But um, it's Sunday night and squad battles ends on Monday uh, at 11 a.m. I believe 10 a.m. So I'm just gonna get these done off camera, play some squad battle games, and I'll be right back with opening some packs, hopefully, and doing some squad builds. Just some more exciting stuff. I want this series to be exciting, not just showing you every little, little grindy thing. So it'll be a bit more fast-paced, and I'll only come out, like, two or three times a week. So yeah, I'll do a lot of off-camera work, of, like, all these boring stuff, like daily objectives and the starter objectives. So yeah, I'll be right back with something fun. 
So I haven't played any games yet. This is like a couple minutes later, guys. I just realized that I've got our welcome packs, which I wasn't expecting because it's a brand new account. I thought you only got welcome backpacks. I know there was such a thing as welcome packs. But anyway, we got a foot swap player immediately in Calva. So that's pretty cool. I thought that I wouldn't get this because I've joined so late into the month. It's, you know, 21st as I'm recording this. I thought you only got this if you joined like the first couple of days of the month. So that's actually really awesome. Whoa. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I think the obvious choice is Neymar here, is it not? The Bruin is pretty good in this game. It's definitely not going to go with that Barla. Oh, I can use Neymar for the league on goals, obviously. So yeah, I'm definitely going to go with Neymar. 10 games with Neymar. That's awesome. A 96 Neymar. That's crazy. You guys can see his in-games there. He looks pretty fantastic. Apart from his physicals. Just don't look at his physicals. 5-star, five 5-star, five obviously. So let's send those two to the club. And now we've got three packs to open. Bristol County is my name. Not bad. Mike Ebert. <laughs> I'll definitely change that uh, when it's one of the objectives that I'm up to. So we got a UCL player pick with a maximum overall 85. Uh, UCL kits and then a welcome pack. Uh, we'll just start off with the UCL kits. I'm just skip this. Hopefully we can quick sell them for coins. Doesn't look like we can. So I'll just send all that to the club. Now we got a welcome pack. I think this is worse. And um, we get a. Oh, looks like we get a in between 82 to 85. That's cool. It might be a loan. I didn't actually finish reading it. Hopefully, it's actually, you know, actually just gold player. Okay, it's a loan in form. Argentinian is Aguero. Oh, that's incredibly convenient. We've got Di Maria. I've got 14 games with Di Maria and then 10 games with Neymar. If we don't get the Kempembe with that, th that would just be an awful 24 games. <laughs> we'll get five wins in those. Okay. Oh, we do get an A285 player. Cool. Okay. That's amazing. Di Maria. Was it just meant to be any info? I don't know. As you guys who know, watch my up rewards and stuff, I talk about, I got this red Di Maria, red team that isn't Di Maria, and I actually love him as a left middle. His crossing is ridiculous. His shooting is awful. This is much worse than shooting, so I'm not going to get legal goals with him, but he can assist Neymar. All right, let's get the lone prime icon pack. I think you usually get R9 from this, so I'll just pick him. Yeah, all right, let's go with R9. The Brazilian link to Neymar. We've got a hell of a front three coming along here. <laughs> Alright, let's take him. Now let's do the lone 85 plus pack. This is, could be something sick right here. Maybe a Van Dyke? Fabinho. Ooh. I'm tipped about Allison here, to be honest. Hmm. Fabinho is a hell of a card. Uh so we've got four players to pick from here. Robin, Fabinho, Allison, and Zeke. Out of the four players that are available, definitely not Robin. I'm gonna go with Allison. E That's a tough choice. You've got two plays who I love very much in real life. I'm going to go with Allison. I feel like it'd be more important than having a good CDM at the start. Yeah, let's go with Allison. We've got a lot of Brazilians coming along. So that's good. And then finally, a rare player, 8285. Maybe we'll get a nice... Okay, speaking of CDMs, you've got Gay here. Maybe you should take Rufier. Get a bit of a league on thing going. That's annoying I took Allison though, if I take Rufier. Huh. I want to get like a little bit of a league on thing coming along. Since we need that to get the... Kempembe. No MLS players, which would have been helpful. Wow, Drew's going to get actually looks sick, to be fair. Oh, do I just go with Rufier? Even though I just got that Allison, Because Rufier is obviously a... a um, not alone. Is Rufi even good though? 6 2. I'm going to take a Rufi kind of gay. I know I could buy him for cheaper, probably. Oh, that's a good point, actually, the price. I'm going with Rufi and I might use him in SBC. Because I could probably just buy a good, a decent CDM for pretty cheap, but then 84, which is always going to cost you like 7k. So yeah, let's go with Rufi. So it's been knowing that I took Allison over Fabinho now, but uh, yeah. <laughs> let's just send that all to the club. And now we still have a UCA player pack. With a max... Oh, it contains five UEFA Champions League players with a maximum of five. And it's five rares. Five gold, five rares. Is that just saying five rares because it's five Champions Leagues? I don't know. This can be rares, unrares, or on non-rares, or if it can be... Oh, it's bored, so it's a rare player. Okay. French, exactly what we needed. Right winger. Usman Dembele? Oh, that's actually sick. 85 rated. Wow. It's annoying that it's the same position as the uh, Alessandrini, which we're going after, but that is actually a sick pull. And Rodri. That's not bad at all. we got a bit of a La Liga thing coming along here. That is fantastic. we got a French guy here. He's 5'11", unfortunately, but he's got at least some defensive stats. Wow, Usman Dembele is actually a sick pull. 
I can just play him off chemistry at left wing. He's got five star weak foot. I'm extremely happy with that pool. We'll send all that to the club, and now I'll get back to doing a tedious task and be back with some packs. So we just played five games of squad battles, all on amateur, just so I can get definite wins and 800 points or so in each game, as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, wait for 11 minutes, re refresh to the next opponent, and then play four more games of squad battles, and I'll be back with how those went. All right, and now I have completed another four games, just on amateur difficulty once again, as you guys can see. And uh, yeah, I have completed some daily objectives and stuff like that. Just two, actually. I thought it might be a bit more than that. Uh, no, no daily objectives. I lied. A starter objective, player match, and a weekly objective. Nothing too exciting in the weekly objective department, though. I think it's just, yeah, a center forward to cam position modifier. So it's not very useful for us whatsoever at this current stage. We'll send them to the club, though. And since it's 3.18 a.m., I'm going to go to sleep and wake up, and I'll have my rewards. All right, so it's the next day now. So squad battle rewards are out. You guys can see my record's 9-0. It's looking pretty good. Uh, all amateur squad battles though, so it's not that amazing. We did stay in gold 3, which is good. So we get a foot swap player that puts us up to 2 now, Okunokubowa. 10k, which is amazing. That's just tripled our coins. Uh, prime mixed plays pack and a jumbo premium gold pack. So let's open those up. Uh, send this guy into the club. Cal Freezy's featured squad. Oh, we got a nice easy one there. That's good. This one looks difficult though. This is definitely a job for an amateur game. Yeah. <laughs> And now we have the packs. After opening these packs, I will show you guys the team I've been using. Uh, it's not anything fancy. Um, I don't know which one of these packs is worse. Let's just start with the 15k pack. We could get some rare gold plays from either of these. They're both just average packs at best, really. So hopefully we at least get a rare player. Okay, yeah, we do. Davies, nice. That's at least like a K right there. I'm not going to use him because he's not a great card. So I'll definitely sell him. What else do we have? Uh, Manuel Fernandez. He doesn't look too good either. We got John Mez, John Mez, We got John Mez Milner or James Milner. Got caught between saying the two. Obviously, I know it's actually pronounced James. In case you don't know. Um, obviously, a very decent card because he's one of the best players in the world. Uh, and then for all of you who haven't clicked off the video, uh, <laughs> we'll look at the rest of the pack. We got a squad fitness. That's good. I'll sell that for a K because we'll just be using fitness teams. Um, it's actually foot champs is still going on right now, so they're probably at that peak value. Mm, maybe not. I can get a point like 1100, 1200 for them at like the start of foot champs next week. So hold on to that. Hopefully, I won't use it. We got the Australia kit, which is pretty cool. I'll make that an active kit. Java update available. That's what that sound was. So that's pretty cool. We'll sell all that. We'll just quick sell that. Quick sell that. Um, and. I'll go over the club and sell this fitness and stuff. And the contracts, I'll keep. Contracts, obviously, there's no way of getting around those. And then I'll sell Davies. I'll sell Fernandez. And I'll keep these guys in case I need to make like a Brazilian team and these guys are links for it, I guess. Definitely going to keep Milner. And we'll cook sell that. Uh, yeah, don't show me this message again. So that puts us up at 15,250 coins. And now we still have another pack to open in the Prime Mixed Plays pack. Come on. Can we get something good here? Oh, it's, is this a Tots? Oh my gosh, a Tots! Dutch! Cam? Okay, it's literally the worst Eredivisie Tots. I was thinking for a second I was going to get like Delete or something, but that's still obviously sick. Because now if I can get the Quincy Promise from Foot Swap deals, he's wearing the Australia kit, or I can just sell this for like 10k, 15k, whatever he's worth, which is probably what I'll do, because he doesn't look fantastic. Well, cost is decent. He's got some pace on him. Yeah, this bronze PSG guy's worth like a K. And then I assume El Cajate is worth like 10K. He's worth about 14, 50K. I'm definitely going to sell him. I'll sell the plays that we don't need here. And then next time you guys see me, I'll probably be at around 30-ish K. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, guys, I just uh, was selling off all these like silvers and bronzes. I thought, I realized I hadn't even looked at El Cajate's stats. He's 6'1", 4-star, 4-star, four four with actually pretty good stats. I might keep him, honestly. I mean, I don't know how many better cards I'm going to get for 15k. And if I get the Quincy Promise, I'm pretty golden, really. He looks de very decent. Compared to, like, all the players I've been using so far in the series, anyway. So I'm going to keep him for now. Worst case scenario, I can just sell him if I don't end up using him. You know, he's not pr his price isn't going to go down much more, anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep him for now. Maybe I'm just use these 7 contracts and then quick sell him or something. Who knows? Probably not do that. But yeah, these are the guys I've decided to keep. And then the other guys, honestly, there was a couple of silvers who were worth like 
800 coins. I'm hoping they'll sell. Let's keep relisting them until they do. So yeah, I'll send all that to the club. I haven't really got a set team. I just keep changing the formation to fit like whoever I chuck in for fitness and stuff like that. My host man Dembele is unfortunately run out of contracts, it looks like. I think he deserves a contract uh, extension. <laughs> Go love amateur squad battles. And then um, yeah, he's been decent as well. One of the best players has been this guy. Yeah, he's been really good. Alu Dembele. So yeah, uh, um, what was I going to say? So yeah, I, I switched between like 4 4 2, 4 1 2 1 2, narrow, and then 4 3 3 4, depending on who I am playing. I've even used this left middle guy at left back sometimes, and then used this centre back at centre back. I haven't used any of the loan cards yet. I'm saving that for Div Rivals and stuff like that. So, yeah, that is my team. Now I'm going to do the starter squad, uh, the starter uh, SBC, and I think that'll be it for the first episode. In, to, in next episode, I will be qualifying, getting my like, playing my five games of Div Rivals to like, get ranked into which division I go into. So that'll be a pretty exciting episode. So I obviously have to do the Let's Go Started, and then I think I'll do something fun at the end of the video like an 81 to 86 rated upgrade or something, if I can do them. If you don't know, those are only four gold plays and then bronzes and silvers, so I might be able to do one of those. Fingers crossed. Anyway, let's start off with the first exchange. This is just any bronze player. Um, it's in gold, but it doesn't have to be a goalie, but uh, I may as well use a goalie. Like, uh, let's use this guy. I'm not going to use an Austrian team. I'm probably not going to use a bronze goalkeeper at all, but I'm definitely not going to use an Austrian one. So yeah, we'll trade him in. Uh, that message is just, uh, you show you want trading players without the message coming up again. And it will open this pack now. It could help with the next SBC. Because we're going to need more bronze players for that. It's, it's two centre backs and a CDM from memory. Don't know why I'm watching this. <laughs> Pretty exciting stuff there. We've got a Swiss right back. Could be actually good because I've only got one right back in the club right now. And he actually looks better than him. All right. Sent him into the club. Now we have the second step. This is the two center backs and a CDM. These don't need to link. They just need to be in the right position. Or they can be out of position and actually link. And those two are my starting center backs. <laughs> well, not starting center backs, but they alternate. So that is quite annoying. Might need to open a bronze pack or two before I do these. Hmm. You know what, I'm just going to use them, because since I've got 15k now, I can just buy better players. That's what I'll do, yeah. These guys have been good servants of the club. You guys can see what they've done. Only two games on Hurman, uh, and seven games on Albert. He's actually my starting left back. Such a beast. <laughs> Low high work rates. He's pretty sick. So, uh, yeah, I'll trade that in. We've got a bronze pack. 12 bronzes this time. That's a much better pack. I'll just skip this. I think... Is there a rare... I might be able to get a team this isn't like a rare chance skip because the rest of the world there might be a bronze one. Oh, look at that. We trade a German centre-back. We get a better German centre-back. Winkler. He's a rare. I'll put him up for a K. If I can remember how to do that. It's X, isn't it? Oh, this is untradeable. Okay. I was just moving out for a bit there. We'll send all that to the club then, obviously. Uh, I don't want to fill up my club with like kits and stuff I don't need, so I'm just going to quick sell that even though it's for no coins. And yeah, same with that. We've got a, a Brazilian manager. That could actually be quite useful. Does he not have a league? Oh, it's the Russian league. Is that seriously a team badge? Fair enough. There's nothing on it. And then we'll quick sell that. And then finally, the third step. This one is very difficult compared to the first two. You actually need to have a link in here. All right, what have we got? Okay, we've got Danish, German. That's another guy who's actually played for us a bit. Uh, English. Do we have an English striker? No, so let's do it with French. There's another guy that I've actually used quite a bit so far. I haven't used the striker, he's got a gold and a silver striker, but this guy, five games, five goals, five assists. What a hero. What a player. 45 finishing, you can really feel it. <laughs> uh, four games, and this guy's just playing left back, so he's got no stats, and I don't think I've used this guy. Don't know why I would have. I definitely haven't used um, this guy. Yeah, I haven't. So I will trade that in. We get a bronze players pack. Another one's untradeable again, so I won't noob out, hopefully, on this one. We actually got 22 chemistry, we got a green link, damn, I'm an elite. <laughs> so we'll trade that in. No reason to be attached to these bronze players, they've played like six games for me. And then for completing the whole thing, I think we get an 83 loan, 83 plus loan. Oh no, we actually get a gold players pack, sweet. That was definitely worth doing then. And then that has unlocked the ability to do all these flash, these are SPCs and stuff. I would not mind getting that flashback for me no. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, more realistically, we might be able to get... Uh, Neto, maybe. 
We might be able to get Peter Crouch. Uh, do one or two of these 81 plus packs. Maybe an 81 plus pack double pack thingy. And then either Vass or Quincy Promise. Comment below if you guys think I should get Quincy Promise or Daniel Vass. I really can't decide because I've got good Liga players, but then I just packed that top Dutch player, which has really put Promise into the mix. So, uh, yeah, let's open up these packs. Start off with the bronze players pack. I'm going to have that two rare player. Oh, that two player pack. I think one of them's rare. I think the rare could be a silver, though, or something, from memory. Uh, I haven't had one of those packs since the start of this FIFA, obviously. It's a rare bronze right back. Is any good? Got pace, please. 80 pace. Nice. We might have a new starter if he's not worth anything. Oh, look at all those bronze players. That's fantastic. Okay, is Don Chin worth anything? We'll list him for 500 just to see if he sells. And this is untradeable once again. I literally just said, am I going to do it or not? I did. I'm really that stupid, guys. <laughs> we'll send that into club, obviously, then. And then two players pack. This is definitely untradeable. So don't try to sell whoever you get here, Ollie. Come on. <laughs> what are we going to get? Rare gold, hopefully? Oh, we did. Nice. Come on, be good. Is it going to be Davies? Really? We got Davies twice. What the hell's the chance of that? <laughs> 81 Davies times two. Good thing the other one was tradable, so I'll definitely sell that now. And I guess we will be using a Davies, maybe. <laughs> As like a bench. Maybe we'll make like an EPL team, and he'll be like the bench left back for when a bit of Moreno or something needs fitness. I don't know who I'll be using. And uh, yeah, we're up to 15,400 coins at the end of this episode. In next episode, guys, I uh, will be made doing a squad builder and also playing some Div Rivals. So if you want to check that out, then please do subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave a like. It helps out a lot. And I will see you guys next time.